In today's video, you're gonna watch me turn $0 into $250 a day in passive income using a couple of websites that I suggest. And I know you're probably thinking, no Marissa, you couldn't possibly show us all that step by step, like literally you showing us like how you're gonna do that in the next 15, 20 minutes. Come on. And my response to that chick is right. She's absolutely correct. I can't possibly show you right now, today, step-by-step, step, everything. But I've done this process myself and I can definitely walk you through the exact blueprint so that you can start doing and generating the same results. How about that? We're good? We're cool with that? I mean, <laughs> whatever, it's better than nothing. Great, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first method we are talking about is with YouTube. Now we could either build a YouTube channel showing up on camera as a personal brand like I'm doing with you guys on this channel, or we could create content with um, faceless, faceless videos, right? We can create content with animation or with stock footage B-roll and compiling it together to create images where we don't have to do our makeup and spend all this time getting ready and then get on camera and create videos. And so my highest day on this platform has been just about $700 a day. My record, I can't even break it, but it's an accomplishment that I'm proud of and I'm coming off my largest month generated in Google AdSense in one month of $11,400, which is really freaking cool because that income is basically passive because when you decide to create content on any type of platform, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you don't get paid for it. Like Instagram doesn't pay you for posting a carousel, right? But YouTube will once you get qualified to do it. And as a matter of fact, if you're thinking, oh, Marissa, like I don't like it's too saturated. I don't know how to start and all this other stuff. I'll never make it because my channel is going to be super small. Well, to make you feel better, I just started a brand new YouTube channel with no niche and I'm showing you how I'm going to grow it. And if you're interested in seeing the first video that I uploaded on that channel, you can check it out right up here. But the point is I wanted to put myself in the shoes of a beginner and show that yes, it is still possible to grow a brand new YouTube channel, even in 2020, in 2021 and in 2022 in the 20s right? The new twenties, <laughs> the 2020s. And so here's the thing, although YouTube, the algorithm, like your channel will thrive if you do have a niche and yes, 100% I recommend you do have a niche. I'm only doing a no niche channel because on this channel I have, I have a big niche, right? Or I have a strong niche, I should say. And um, on the other channel, I'm going to be posting about whatever I want. So what we could do now is go behind the scenes back into my analytics and I'll show you the revenue potential. But just one thing before I do that, the revenue I'm about to show you is just from Google AdSense. It's not from the money I'm making on the back end of my business with uh, product sales, with uh, digital courses, with affiliate marketing, with coaching and all that other stuff. So why don't we go ahead and we'll take a look behind my screen. All right, so welcome to Behind My Computer. And what I wanted to show you guys was just a snapshot of my channel. So this is my channel and um, I'm in my analytics right now. So this is kind of the dashboard, an overview of revenue, view, subscribers in the past 28 days of, of my channel. So right here, my estimated revenue for the past month is $7,600. And um, the, the, I guess, breakthrough month that I had was back in August. So if I click on August, you'll see the 11,400 in revenue. YouTube is, you know, a long-term game. It goes up, the arrows are all green, like they are right here, and then it goes down. And so the cool thing is for each video, it has, it earns you a different amount of money. So each video will, like if we go down, let me just pick a random one, um, one about passive income, we can see per video how much it makes. So if we go to analytics, we can go to the revenue and see how much this video has generated since I launched it, I guess. And so the estimated revenue um, since I published it is about $217. Not bad. Um, this CPM is really high. It's almost $50, which means you get paid per thousand views, essentially, when you get paid for, or when you become a partner of the YouTube partnership program, 
you start to make a certain amount of money per thousand views on your videos, on your channel. So the CPM for my channel is in between 40 to $50, which is really high, right? Because I'm in a niche that people go crazy about, which is making money and the whole wealth and finance and generating income niche is huge because people want to know how to make more money. So, you know, the more niche specific your channel is, the more you're going to make. And that's why I mentioned on my new YouTube channel, I probably guarantee I won't be making this high of a CPM because I'm not going to have a niche, right? I'm going to just talk about whatever I want because it's going to be my fun channel. Okay. So, um, just in general, the way that you increase your CPM is by niching down and focusing on that type of content. And so something else that really helps when um, wanting to generate an income faster on YouTube is knowing where your traffic is coming from. In the beginning, um, as you can see here, I have browse traffic, suggested videos, notification, and YouTube search. So in the beginning of your channel, you're going to have keywords that are very, um, that want to get you on the first page of YouTube. And that's why you'll probably majority get YouTube search traffic. But what makes your channel go a little bit more viral are these right here, the browse feature and the suggested video. So if you can rank on the home page, which is the browse or get into the suggested videos on other people's channels and content, that's when the algorithm is going to go bonkers with your channel and suggest you um, to a whole bunch of other people. Okay. So that's just um, a snapshot of what's possible with uh, YouTube and Google AdSense. But it's not just about Google AdSense, guys. It's about the money you can generate from on the back end of these videos, from the offers that you're promoting in the links in your description. And so I just wanted to show you guys one more thing on my analytics, and that is the impressions that you can get from a channel. Even if it's small, you'll be amazed at the amount. So in the past 28 days, my channel has generated or yeah, has had 2.6 million impressions. That's crazy. That means that 2.6 million people have seen my thumbnail or have seen my channel in and around YouTube somewhere. And this is the whole point of analytics. So this is the traffic type for my whole channel. But if you look at right here, impressions, 70% um, of the impressions are coming from the YouTube recommendation. So the algorithm is pushing my channel, which is causing the growth. So that is why it's really important to niche down from the beginning when starting a profitable YouTube channel. So if you're interested in learning how to quickly grow and monetize a YouTube channel, creating a YouTube channel that sells, go ahead and download my subscribers to sales blueprint in the first link or up here. And that gives you the six steps to six figures on YouTube, basically. So you can check that out. And now this is a great time to bring up that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Ta-da! Now, what is Skillshare. If you haven't heard of it, Skillshare is basically an online community where anyone, you and me, entrepreneurs, creators, people that are curious can go and find a plethora. I'm talking about thousands of different classes about so many different topics about art, graphic design, entrepreneurship, marketing, cooking, you name it, the category is on that platform. So let's say you're interested in illustrating better. You can just simply go to Skillshare, look for an illustration class and become that more well-versed in illustration. So I would say if you're trying to learn a quick freelancing skill, I would say Skillshare is your place to go. Think of it as a Pinterest where you're getting ideas or wanting to learn something, but they actually show and teach you how to do it. And in this class, I recently watched by a man named Peter BBC, which talks about how to create your own YouTube studio from home. These tips are very helpful for me as a YouTube creator, because I'm always looking for ways to improve the old YouTube studio. And so the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. So go ahead and click the link below to start your free membership of Skillshare today. So right now, why don't we jump back behind my computer and I'm going to show you some passive income generating websites. Let's go right now. All right. So if you're interested in course creation, a really great website that you can get started for a very affordable price is teachable. If you are um, thinking about course creation, I highly suggest it. It is probably the number one way to make passive income right now, and it's not going anywhere. It'll be the number one way 
for a very long time. Okay, so with Teachable, it's a platform where you can easily get started and it will allow you to make a course out of a skill that you already know, something that you can teach. Um, it's very cool because they have you know a membership that you can create your video modules. And if you can see in this demonstration right here, it's really, um, it looks really clean. So many creators are using Teachable um, for their online courses. So you can come here to the Teachable website and check out um, you know, the steps on how to get started. And one thing that I did want to bring up is that, you know, this site is made for beginners so that you can easily come on the platform and, um, you know, submit or upload the video modules that you want to teach. Okay. So you can go ahead and check this out. But one thing I wanted to show was if you were to go to courses, I know of, um, uh, a YouTuber slash course creator. I think his name is Ryan Scrib. I don't know how to say his last name, but, um, he has courses on here. And so if we go into the courses category and we look up different things, just, you know, we have examples of right here. There's YouTube creators, and this is why I brought up YouTube in the beginning. There's YouTube creators who are creating their courses on um, Teachable and um, making, a, you know, a good amount of money because when you look up any topic, you can search the library of Teachable and you can buy right then and there the course. So. If I type in like affiliate marketing, if I want to learn affiliate marketing, um, I know this guy right here, I forgot his name. He's really popular. What's his name? Pat Flynn. He teaches a lot about podcasting, but also affiliate marketing. But, um, you know, he has this course for $700. You could enroll now. And so it gives a breakdown of like what you'll learn in his course and stuff like that. But the point is, um, you know, there's traffic on this website. And it's not just, um, you know, you host a course on a platform with no traffic. So Teachable has traffic, which is really cool um, and a great way to, to create a living and create passive income from this website right here. So the next website that we're talking about is a website called Etsy. Now this isn't Etsy.com, it's E-T-S-Y.com, but this is a store on Etsy. And I'm showing this store because it's my friend's store, Hannah. And the reason why I'm showing it is because Hannah started off selling, or she still is selling accessories for women, jewelry, um, yoga gear, swimsuits, right? And her manufacturer is in the United States. She, this isn't like Shopify and drop shipping. This is, um, I mean, not to like, <laughs> not to like downplay Shopify, but these are like, these are like quality products that you won't find in China. So the point is Hannah is making well over a hundred thousand dollars in revenue from this store now that's not profit but she's making a lot of profit still right i don't want to like put her numbers out there but um she's killing it and the reason why i bring up etsy to start a store is because etsy already has traffic so she already has traffic on this store going to you know her jewelry category and shopping on here right so when you click to buy this is all hosted um, you know, adding to cart. This is all hosted with the Etsy platform. Now they take a transaction fee. I forget what it is. Uh, honestly, I don't remember. I think it's like five to six percent. Don't quote me on that. But the reason why I love Etsy is because there's already traffic on there. There's millions of people shopping around on Etsy. And so that's why it's great to get started there where the traffic already is so that you don't have to pay for Facebook ads or none of that crazy stuff. And the other website that I like if you're into print on demand is Redbubble. Now with Redbubble, you can start no credit card for free. You can start uploading prints and designs and create your store. So, you know, if you scroll down and take a look at what is possible, I mean, there's so many different items that you can put designs on like phone cases, clothes, bags, shower curtains, pillows, like you name it, it's probably on here. So, the thing is, is like if you Google anything or, you know, put anything in the search engine, like, um, I don't know, election, I'm just picking a random topic since the election is next week, <laughs> you know, okay, fuck Trump. I get it. All right. And so like, there's just all kinds of stuff that you can put on here. So whatever niche you're in, dog lovers, um, election season, anything funny, you can put it on Redbubble and create a store. So check out all these categories on this side and um, I guarantee it's there. So let's pick um, another one, like, I don't know, let's like Game of Thrones comes to mind. 
Um, these would have to be designs that aren't copyrighted, obviously, but you know, there's all kinds of stuff in every single type of niche. So this, these are e-commerce websites. If e-commerce is something that interests you, <laughs> look at this one. No, not today, Corona. <laughs> I really like that. Um, so yeah, these are these. This is what I recommend if you're looking to get started in creating passive income in the e-commerce space. These two websites are are your go-to for sure. All right, so if you are into the graphic design space, um, if you create video uh, templates, different transitions, different logos, um, just different assets that you can use for video and design, uh, you should take a look at this website, Envato Market, because you could sell your assets. So instead of, for example, creating a logo just for one company, you can create a logo and sell that logo template. Let me show you what I mean um, because, well, if you look down here, there's so many different things. You have stock footage. Uh, you can look at so many different assets that you can buy and use for you know videos and sell to other people. So not only can you upload different logos and stuff, but if you take stock footage, you can sell this um, for a, a price and people can buy it over and over, okay? This video has no sales. However, let's take a look at videos that do. Or no, better yet, let's take a look at uh, graphics and take a look at logos to see what comes up logo and let's go to let's go to this one camping logo right let's say you created a camping logo and you want to sell it it's 32 dollars for to buy the license this one has no sales yet i promise people make sales so let's go to best sellers and we'll see how much the these people are making so if we go down to um let's go to this one right here t-shirt mock-up Okay, so if you if I purchase this t-shirt mock-up, it's $9, and you may be thinking, okay, that's not that much, but this person, I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but this person has generated 3,700 sales. So if we go nine times, nine times 3,700, that's $33,000 that they made from selling one logo pack. And just imagine if this person has 10 items that adds up so fast. You can just be selling logo packs on Envato Market and make a lot of money per day. And so if we were to view this person's portfolio, you can just come down here and view the portfolio on another tab. So look at how many items this person has. Genetic 96. Holy crap, this person has a lot of <laughs> different things. So just imagine the passive income that they're creating from this website just with all, all of these items here, right? And something that they've created on their own and it's theirs and they can sell over and over again and again. So definitely consider this if you're in the creative uh, video editing and graphic design space. Right, so the next website to make a good amount of money and passive income is by creating a podcast. And you can do this by anchor.fm, anchor.fm. It's the easiest way to make a podcast because the cool thing about it is you can sign up for free. Um, everything you have, it, you need is 100% for free, like it says on the website. But the cool thing is once you upload the audio file or the MP3 file, distributes it to other platforms, podcast platforms like iTunes, Spotify, and um, you know other hosting and dis distribution. You can read more about it here. And um, that's really cool because it's your one-stop shop. You just upload on Anchor and it distributes it. So the cool thing is if you create a podcast and um, you know whether it's a solo podcast or maybe you invite guests on this podcast, you can get paid, record audio ads in your own voice and earn money whenever people listen to your podcast, no matter your audience size. Um, so that's with uh, Squarespace straightforward analytics you can track your growth and um, it's cool because no matter how small your podcast is and audience size um, anchor they try to connect you with sponsors that are looking to advertise on your podcast and so the great thing also about podcasting is you know especially on a platform like this is that in the show notes you can also promote your different affiliate links your offers um, any back-end products that you have you know, like coaching services or something like that. So this is a really great opportunity to get up and running 
producing content, building a brand, and also monetizing it as you build it up. So I would definitely check out Anchor if you are interested in the podcasting world. Okay, so to summarize what we went over today, we went over a bunch of things with the websites I just talked about, including YouTube, affiliate marketing, podcasting, graphic design, e-commerce, and we also went over one more thing, can you guess? Yes, and that was course creation, okay? Course creation, and my expertise isn't all of these. I've done, I've done all, no, I have not done pos- podcasting, I have not done graphic design, but I've done these three, no, four. I've done these four here. And so what I can emphasize to you and tell you is that none of these are going to work and generate zero to $250 a day or way more than that if you don't focus on just one. Pick one of these uh, categories on how to create passive income from these websites that I showed you and just focus on that one at a time, okay? Because I'll tell you what I did, all right? So in the beginning, I started with affiliate marketing and with YouTube. Now, the reason I started with two of them is because one, affiliate marketing, like any other type of offer on the internet, needs traffic, okay? So that is why I combined YouTube and affiliate marketing in the beginning of my channel so that I can generate an income with that and build up little by little. So I started creating and going hard day by day and creating videos all the time on YouTube. They weren't fancy like the ones you see now. I had my camera phone and my webcam and I just started filming and uploading. It was kind of embarrassing. I was like in t-shirts, no makeup, like just, I don't even know what I was talking about, but I was just doing and taking action. So, So these two things are what I focused on first and it was really cool because I focused on them at the same time that I was able to produce six figures just from affiliate marketing. And people say like, well, wow, like how do you even do that? It takes focus and it took like promoting products that I believed in and you know, learning the YouTube algorithm little by little. I wasn't an SEO expert like I am now with YouTube, but I knew a little bit about keywords and a little bit about you know, tagging and just the good optimization things that you need to know for a YouTube video. So I just started applying and I got better every single video. And so that's what I can tell you about these two passive income generators up here. And so the other great thing about course creation, what I had mentioned earlier in this video and using Teachable and leveraging that as a website to create your courses is even if you don't create anything on Teachable, you can create a course on websites like Udemy and also like Skillshare, which you know they are sponsoring this video, but you can create courses and just start uploading them onto those two platforms and get quick sales because what those two platforms have that the others don't really is traffic, okay? So they have major traffic on their websites. And what is everyone missing in the beginning of building a business and generating income online? It's traffic. Traffic is really hard to get. And so that is why in the beginning, if you're leveraging websites that already have traffic on them, which is my favorite, that is how you can get get some quick wins, right? And generate cash quicker into your business by leveraging those sites. And so if you're like, I don't even know like how I would even build a course. Well, do you have a video camera in your smartphone? Probably you can record an entire course with your smartphone and just with things that you have at your house. Do you have a window? Yes. Great. That will give you natural lighting. Could you afford maybe to buy a $20 tripod for your phone on Amazon? If the answer is yes, great, you can do that. Um, This microphone right here, this lapel mic, they have that for smartphones, they have it for cameras. That's probably another $15 to $30 investment, I don't remember. But you can create a course that you generate with a one-time upfront effort, maybe it takes you a month or two months to produce this course, and then you just start to sell it. So you can divide this course in phases, right? You're taking somebody from a beginner from point A to point B on how they want to reach their goal, right? So it could be anything like how to start a coffee brewing business. Maybe you know how to do that. It could be helping other women with fertility because that's definitely a thing nowadays, fertility coaches. It could be 
anything. Any knowledge that you have, any skill, any challenge that you've overcame, you can turn that into something digital and share it over and over. All right, so if you got a lot of value from this video, let's go watch the next one together. Keep learning and keep growing. All you gotta do is click right here to watch the video that's coming up next, and I will see you on that video. Okay, so you're gonna quit your job so that, wait, because why? Well, so I could start making passive income. I mean, I don't wanna work anymore. I wanna quit my job.